It is the dawn of a new era. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. We have episodes 385 and 386 today of our One Piece watch through. We are starting what on Crunchyroll is called the Summit War Saga, which leads me to believe there is some crazy stuff that's going to go down during this one. If you missed it, we just finished up Thriller Bark in the last episode. And man, did I enjoy the heck out of that arc. It had some ups and downs, but overall, just Brooke being an addition to the crew just fits perfectly. I think in terms of the dynamic so i'm excited to see what adventure we go on with him to start off especially considering we're kind of still getting our legs with uh thousand sunny and frankie being a part of the crew we're gonna hop right into it if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get started marie joy the whole this says it says hold land is that a typo i thought it's holy land oh shoot garp i'm such a sucker for like these scenes send goku's goat dude i was wondering if he would have to answer for this yeah because now they've gotten away from garp and kuma mm. and luffy had nothing to do with it mm. why that goat always eating paper yeah that's kind of true actually but people are gonna find out either way i think it has to do something in the fact that kuma knows who dragon is and knows that luffy's like him why the goat eating paper Oh, <laughs> I love Garp, bro. All right, like I said, I figured that Kuma would have to answer for that uh, to some extent because now they, the fact that they got away from Kuma is like it's like undeniable that he let them go. One million percent. It seems like he didn't even have an answer. What? Oh my gosh, they're fishing. I just feel like the beginning of every new arc starts with them fishing. And Brooke is part of it now. He's got a net. He just fits perfectly. Oh my gosh, he's such a baby. It's like a little kid on a road trip. Yeah, but Kokoro Mermaid. He needs some distraction at all times or he just loses it. Island. Oh, fish. Plenty of food. Chopper swinging his legs. They're running from something, I think. It's like a swimming from something. Storms of Bruin. So they said their log is leading them to the Navy headquarters, though. When they're under the impression that it's towards Fishman Island. Serpent currents? I like all their, their fits. They're very relaxed fits. Bro, what? They're just like monsoon tornadoes. Quite a pickle. Literally the entirety of the ship is in danger. Very cool. Nah, Sunny, Sunny is capable. I feel very com- Oh. I think I should feel confident about Sunny. Is Zora gonna cut the wave? I mean, to be fair, they did blow open the wave uh, on the way to Innie's lobby. Blew a hole in it. It, do it does seem like it is alive. It's like directly targeting them. The ship's not listening. I mean, Frankie should have an answer. If the ship's not listening to what they're saying. This is a good test for Sunny. I mean, we went straight from Innie's lobby to, to throw her bark without much of a... Oh, okay, Brooke. Wait. That is so clean, man. Without really much of a trial for Sunny, but now we're just testing the elements. Yeah, they kind of do. They, they look like snakes. I think it's pretty cool. Seeing more about the world. Oh my. Star shield. Why does that look so cursed? Now, is it like the spirit of the ocean attacking or is it like someone manipulating the waves? She's going to look out and there's going to be like a million more in front of them. Oh, true. Wait. Yeah. Why don't they just launch out? Follow. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be honest. It's probably a good thing we don't got Mary anymore as much as I miss Mary. A song. No, true, true book. Actually, is he gonna sing them away? They're writing it now. Hey, Frank, you said this ship was. Oh my God, Chopper! Oh my gosh, Chopper actually just almost perished. My boy. Thank goodness Robin's got that quick thinking. Holy. Fishman. It's gotta be some kind of island. Oh no, just. Oh, shoot. So that's the direct halfway point? Wait, so is past the red line the new world? 
the day they said they would make it. Dog, back when it was just five. Holy. Iconic. What is the mystery mountain? Yeah, so what makes it the red line? Like, they mentioned it like one time, I think. The biggest one yet! It kind of looks like the upstream that sent him to Skypea. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of Sanji for manning the ship. Wow, look how ahead of the mark I was. <laughs> Chopper and Usopp are so consistently just terrified, mortified. Just use it to your advantage, baby. They have so many people like man different things in situations like this now. Like, Brooke, one person makes such a big difference. Oh, they're out of there. Easy peasy. Yo, I guess that was just like another trial. It wasn't even that like the sea. I guess the sea inherently was attacking them, but that's just how the ground line is. Oh, it's so bright now. The red line. So is there like a similar way to cross it, like entering the ground line? <laughs> yeah, dude, 300, what, 85 episodes? Okay, yeah, so it goes all the way around. So they, they actually have reached halfway, I see. If they went all the way along the grand, the red line, they would find Laboon. I'm glad they did that diagram. That makes a lot more sense. They're all old five years ago with Croc. So she ended up with Croc after she got to the grand line, I think. She was with him like, what, three years? It's kind of a really big moment, actually. I mean, I didn't think they would make it a halfway point this quickly, but by the way to describe the new world, it's just, it's like they've climbed one tiny mountain in comparison to what's ahead. Oh, so they know how close they are to Navy HQ. I see. That's why they said it was leading them there. But inherently, it's pointing to, to Fishman Island. Oh, they got a, like a little surprise pool. That is so cute. That's such a good idea. Oh, hell yeah. Getting them reps in. I'm surprised the world didn't end up with any like permanent damage from the whole thing with uh, uh kuma i guess mental permanent damage is a thing though it's gotta be stronger god dang holy i feel like they never even showed him taking it completely all on because there's no way to even visualize what he took on like the pain and whatnot and what his reaction to it was so yeah this little lookout is his sort of training room that's cool i guess it's the crow's nest does that transponder snail have a straw hat on? <laughs> Chopper's on a floaty! It does have a straw hat on. <laughs> Classic. They're gonna have to get used to that. God dang it, Brooke. It's hard to defend you. <laughs> oh, shoot. They in a submarine. That is so cool. So much application to everything that Sonny has to offer. They definitely went further than 5,000 then. Guys, none of you can swim. Do I hear the metal like tearing itself apart? Oh, why does that look like a rabbit? They're so chill about this. She's like, I can't with them. They sent no responsible party aboard. His little leg. Horror pairs. Aw, that's beautiful. Dead end. Oh, they were thinking about going like under? Oh yeah, no. They point down. I feel like it's a good assumption that Fishman Island is it's at least semi underwater or semi submerged if they're fishmen. I feel like there's gonna be repairs needed for this submarine. Oh, so they, yeah, they just went down looking for it. Aww. Brooke's having so much fun. Ah. Oh, no, it's followed them. The sea rabbit. Just punch it, Luffy. He's gonna one shot this creature. God, it even sounds weird. Since we've seen ores, it's all small in comparison. Oh, there's somebody inside. I think he just saved someone. <gasps> Is it a mermaid? And a starfish? Oh no. I'm Sanji, oh my gosh. What is that? She got like a little clam backpack. She is a mermaid. Is this a, uh, a starfish? And his little hat too. 
Are they not concerned that they just like landed on a ship? He still has hard eyes, even unconscious. <laughs> He's so easy, man. I mean, I feel like a mermaid would have a better idea. They, they probably found the perfect person to let them know where Fishman Island is. All right, well, an aptly confusing start to the arc, but it seems like we do have a lead to someone that, like I said, has a pretty good chance of knowing where Fishman Island would be. And reaching the red line is a big deal. That's a big moment. Episode 386, let's go. Sanji's just incapacitated, probably for a while too. <laughs> I honestly thought she was gonna be scared of Brooke at first. Is she fine just chilling on land? I guess Kokoro was. When he has time. Free food? What? You're gonna help by selling? Oh my, she is uh, interesting. Jewel of the sea. <laughs> no, it's not. Cammy. Yeah. It like killed his entire vibe. Oh my gosh. It was go girl. Sanji is so subtle about everything. What? Oh, he never found out. <laughs> he called her a monster. Nami, it's just a natural instinct. Brooke, no! No, Brooke! She can't even be wearing panties! Oh. He's asking for money? <laughs> Fun, right? <laughs> I love Brooke. Yeah, she's very easy to please. Do you boo? Bro, guys. Sonny doesn't want to know the answer to that question. Something's missing? What? He called it a little circle of fun. Glove. Do you have stitches? Papug. Is your pet and master? Oh, he's kind of cute. Papug. He has a song. Oh. Well, she feeds him? Well, she has like a clam backpack. Okay. Hey, Brooke, join in. I don't think that's that hard to clear up. Wow, that was just a song from the heart. Uh, oh, uh, ha, ha, ha. They are not paying any attention. Oh, he, he had a song for. Oh, look how sad he looks. I mistakenly thought I was a. What? He learned to speak on accident? A designer. Oh, man, I bet he could make some fire fits. You have to pay, apparently. Action. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, that's what... No, that's not why he said they were separated. He just said he was out of the circle of fun. That's villain music! Hachi. Why is that familiar? Hachi. Dopey macro? Look at Papa jumping around. The flying fish riders. What is going on at Fishman Island, bro? Wreak a little havoc. The lips changing are so, it's such a good detail. Octopus. Man. Wait! No! Is that the Hotshot from, from, uh, Arlong? Octopus, his name was Hotshot. The really dumb one. No way. No way. <laughs> God dang, Luffy, man. Oh my gosh, it is. Flash to it. What did he say they, that he was? I need to go back. I was so fixated on that being who I thought it was. Yeah, I was going to say they can get really good information out. And these guys on the phone sound pretty goofy. I don't know how much of a fight they're going to put up. If they said they would usually lose the Hachan. Someone's a Takoyaki. <laughs> well, now it matters. Takoyaki. We got a map. Grove 44 or Chapelago. Blind fish rider. Sabaudi. It had two dots over though. Would it be Sabaudi or Chapelago? Archipelago? I know how to speak. Is she calling fish? She is. They can help fight a fish army. Oh, they look so cute. Kind of derpy, but cute. Oh, she can actually like, just command them. That's cool. Flying fish riders. That sounds kind of cool. It sounds like like from Avatar. I don't think she'd be okay with them, like asking them to sacrifice themselves. Dang, dude, maybe we need a mermaid as part of the crew. I ain't gonna lie. That's very convenient. That is insanely convenient, especially on the grand line where directions don't make sense. Hey, Kami, you looking for a line of work? 
<laughs> Why does he hit her so hard? The next lead awaits. The lead to the lead to the Fishman Island. Oh yeah, I forgot Brooke got one. This is cute too. Oh, is this the flying fishman? Oh man. It's kind of a cool base. Wait, this is a really cool base. Oh my gosh, Master Duval. No, yeah, there he is. That is Hot John. Oh my god, he's huge. Never mind, I kind of sounded like a pushover. Valuable merchandise. Kami? Guys, on the left's hair is something else. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's Hot John. God dang, dude. He was probably the nicest one out of all of our Long's men. Oh, they actually fly fish. I see. Are they like bombers? God dang, dude. If our Long ever makes a return, that's gonna be nuts. I feel like there could be a lot of connections to him at Fishman Island, too. And Hot John is proof of that. <laughs> They've all gotten rid of Kokoro in their memory. Human trade is a booming business in Salbadi Archipelago? Yeah, for real. What? Oh. That's why they said she was like a merchandise. He was very kind, yeah. He kind of just seemed led astray. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, come on. Let bygones be bygones. Why do I feel like they're going to be nothing? Like, they're going to be so easy to beat. The Duval looks like an absolute unit, too. Searching for someone. That's got to be some lore stuff. Nobody knows what he looks like behind the mask, and he's searching for someone. Is that Luffy Chin? Is that an honorific? Yo. God, dude, having a musician just makes everything so much better. <laughs> Chopper finally has someone his own size. This feels so positive right now after how dark Thriller Bark was and how doom and gloom the entire thing with Kuma was. Even the fish are hype. Oh, oh, they've arrived. The flying boys. They apologize. All right, anti-aircraft, just shoot him down. Are oh, they that high in the air that you can't see them? She's hopping. Oh my gosh. They're coming straight for the ship. They are like dive bombers. It doesn't seem like they have a ton of artillery though. This is so absurd. I love it. They look like motorcycles. They're built like them. Contact the boss. I mean, yeah, they have a big name for themselves. I feel like Luffy could just straight up snipe them out of the air with his fist. They're coming down. Oh my God, they're actually bombing them. And they have counterplays to it. I need, I need Frankie to just start like shooting at him. Withdrawing. Duval is a smart, smart leader. If he knows that it's the Straw Hats and he's like, he just confirmed it and he's like, come back, he knows. Very smart. Those guys were done so the next time they did a drive by. Looks like a horseshoe. So those are the three macros. And then this is Duval. Oh my. Oh. That's who he's been waiting for. That's who he's been looking for. Oh, shoot. Man who ruined my life. Who in God's name is this? Okay, well, I'm guessing we have met whoever Duvall is then. I'm trying to see. He has like a scar on the left here. I see his jaw. If that's Morgan, that's going to be absolutely insane. That's my only guess though. Morgan's the only guy that was this size. And his jaw is also, like I said, is like metal. I don't think we've known anyone else that's been this size besides Arlong, but Arlong's a fish. Like you can tell by his skin. Either way, a very interesting lead. A very cool, I guess, sort of start to this whole saga. And a cool tieback to Hachan being there. What a, what a throwback. They were talking about nostalgia the episode before this, and god dang, nostalgia is right. I love how they instantly were like, oh yeah, that, that idiot fish. <laughs> but again, yeah, he was the nicest one there. It seemed like the entire time he he was kind of just led astray. Sort of like a lot of Marines where they think they're fighting for good. But guys, that has been it for episodes 385 and 386, our start to the next saga of One Piece. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub so you don't miss anything. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.